Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest wrote and co-stars in The Hungry and Horny Show, which opens at the Link Theatre in Hollywood this fall. Please welcome Wendy Kamenoff, everybody. Wendy Kamenoff. <laughs> I am in such a fabulous mood tonight. I just read the most spiritual book that I want to recommend to all of you. It's called Do What You Love and the Money Will Follow. <laughs> Doesn't that sound great? Yeah, if it works out by this time next year, I'll have a million bucks <laughs> from touching myself and going to lunch with my friends. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Wendy Kamenoff, and I am of the Jewish persuasion. Isn't that a great expression, Jewish persuasion? Like someone had to talk me into it. <laughs> oh, Wendy, come on, be Jewish. It's so much fun. You, you get to eat latkes and go to law school. Come on. <laughs> I did go to school, not law school. I went to drama school, or as my grandma Gussie called it, drama school. <laughs> After I graduated from drama school with a degree from NYU, I discovered that the NYU stands for now you're unemployed. <laughs> Surprise for me. At NYU, I was a cheerleader, I'm very proud to say. I was a cheerleader for an all-Jewish basketball team. <laughs> yes, I was. Well, they didn't actually play the game, they just negotiated a score. <laughs> a big cheerleader. I, I don't mean I was captain of the team. I mean, I was a large cheerleader. Actually, I was huge. In fact, my grandma Gussie said in those days there was more of me to love. <laughs> I even went to a nutritionist to see what was going on. They ran a bunch of tests and it turned out that I had a sugar allergy. Yeah, when I ate sugar, I broke out in severe fat all over my body. <laughs> Apparently some of you are familiar with this illness. <laughs> I, uh, I had a boyfriend at that time, for lack of a better word, who told me the worst thing you can ever tell a woman. He told me that I needed to lose weight. And he really hurt my feelings, but he was right. So I'm very proud to say that I lost 173 pounds. Uh, yes, I did. Thanks. Thank you. And I know you're wondering how I did it. I dumped him, is what I did. Oh, I feel so much better. I feel much better about myself. But um, it's all good. I mean, I, I, I have, you know, well, I have a lot to tell you. First of all, I am, um, I, I was married. I should mention that. Let, let's start with you guys. We're the single people. Applaud wildly. We're the single people. Okay. Married people. Married. Wow. And divorced people. Okay. One drunk guy in the back. Excellent. Oh, it's a woman. I feel you, sister. I know. I was married. I was married. And um, I had a husband. And then I got divorced, and my husband became my husband. Um, I mean, great guy. To be fair, though, we had no business being married. I was 24 when I met him, okay? And 27 when we got married. And that's just, that should be illegal, really. I mean, if you are getting married before you're 30, someone should smack you and just really, you should, it should be like Nick Cage and Cher on Moonstruck. Just snap out of it. You should not. <laughs> it's, wrong. it's wrong. But I don't want to sound bitter. I really don't. Um, I am a hopeless romantic. I am, and I really believe in love. I, uh, <laughs> I still just want to meet somebody to, you know, watch Law & Order and break bread with. Is that too much to ask? Really? <laughs> to all the single people, I want to say, open your heart up and let all the love you have inside flow out of you. And if you do that, I promise you that some highly dysfunctional, emotionally unavailable person will glom themselves onto you and not let go. <laughs> want to sound bitter and I, I really at the very end of my marriage I knew it was over when I, I was trying to put some spice back into it so I asked my husband at the time to do something a little different you know to sort of make it exciting so um, I asked him to tie me up <laughs> and he did and I sort of liked it so I asked him to drive me crazy so he put on Monday Night Football and left the room for three hours <laughs> been great thank you so much Wendy coming up, everybody!